that's it. We're out of gas. Whoa. So this is Char. Damn. And people still live here after the hammer strikes? Yep. They're in there, son. But they ain't the welcoming kind. We're out of choices. We need the fuel, welcome or not. We've got to get to the shipyard. Dizzy, stay here and guard the truck. Okay. You can quit tiptoeing around me. He's dead. But he saved us. So we'll make sure he didn't die for nothing. Like this is what they were doing when the hammer strikes hit. It's all that's left of them. Ash. Shit, man, look at them. They were running for their lives. And they've lasted all these years. Yeah. It's a mass grave, people. Let's show what respect we can. Dizzy. There's nobody around so far. Nobody alive, anyway. Dizzy, you're breaking up. Damn, lost him again. Okay, we better assume someone's got us in their sights. Can't say Dizzy didn't warn us. Hello, anyone there? Hey, we just want to trade. <sighs> Guess not. Okay, stay sharp. Watch out for more accidents. <laughs> You better keep an eye on the ash. Stay people. sharp. He could be Anything any could one be a trap. I'll take that.
Vietnam. Man, this guy must be cross-eyed. Fall back! It's another it? trap! Now, where did that asshole go? Oh, don't worry. He'll show up again. That guy's out of his goddamn mind. I mean, how the hell does he even get him in there? A hmm. box of polyps? What the fuck? Let's take a look in here. Hey, you guys, you hear that? Look out! You fucking amateur! You think you can scare us off, huh? We're gears! Save your breath, Jace. Come on. All right, all right. Sorry, Mark. What the hell? We better check that out. But carefully. Oh, now you see that shit there? That? That ain't funny. Is that him up there? Hey, asshole! That looks cozy. You think anyone's home? They're coming! Hey, hold your fire! Ah, damn it, we're gears! Maybe they can't hear you! Oh, they can hear me! I said, hold your fire, you fucking assholes! Oh boy, I don't like the sound of that. Sick, we got stalks! Oh yeah, sure, now you can fucking hear me! Coming down. Let's see what this fucking asshole's got to say for himself. Yeah. 
You got one chance. Don't piss me off. Griffin don't want no outsiders in this town, especially Cog. You took a big risk coming here. Look, all we want is fuel, and then we'll go. Is this Griffin willing to trade? Well, lady, he might want to do business with you. Just take us to see him, little man. Now. Great view from up here, Cog. You can see the mess he made of the city. Folks around here haven't forgotten the hammer strikes. Listen, fuckstick, we just saved you from the glowies. We're still fighting and dying out there. Whoa! Sorry, lady. Just explaining how folks feel. Hey, tell me about Griffin. Oh, he's the chief around here. Griffin and Molson Corporation, remember? Yeah, so you've got fuel. Well, not since our last shipment went missing. So you're not much use to us then, are you? Just find us some fuel, and we'll be out of here. Okay, okay. But let me sweet talk the chief first. <laughs> Look what the wheel Try not smashing the can this time. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. One last time. Awesome. Cable cars. Yeah, only crazy guys move around on the ground. Yeah, we noticed. Nah, it's the goddamn car. Yeah, yeah, can we come in? Shit, why you bringing them up here? Talking practice for the cheap? Come on, man. They ain't ordinary cog assholes. They just killed a heap of glowies for us. They really need to see the chief. Okay, but only cuz it's gonna be fun watching him kick seven shades of shit out to you, little weasel. You know, I think I heard of Griffin. People you used to say he's badass with the hate for the coalition. I guess I'll have to stick with the sawed off. Maybe you cog aren't all bad. Take what you need. Marcus, let me handle this. Mr. Griffin, sir, these car guys showed up and they did a great job on the glowies. Now they want some fuel. What the fuck are you doing bringing the cog here into my city? They, 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 they killed the glowies, sir. They, they just want some fuel. Boy, get out of here before I lose my patience. So welcome to Griffin Tower, Cog. It was here before you destroyed Char and it's still standing now. And so am I. You got some nerve coming around here asking for favors, motherfuckers. Sir, we understand. We just need fuel and then we'll go. Bitch, you don't understand shit. You seen those ash remains? Those were my workforce, my employees, my family. 
I don't like their rest being disturbed by outsiders, and especially no fucking cog. Oh, I think we understand grieving. Oh, and who the fuck are you? Marcus Phoenix. Hmm. It is a name I think I recall. You know the first rule of business, Mr. Phoenix? Remind me. It's what's in it for me. You need fuel, so do I. Ironic scene is how I built an empire on it. So you get my fuel back, and I'll let your punk ass keep some. Well, what's stopping you from getting it? Our refinery across the way is a little late with the fuel shipment. Shit, they didn't even send my cable car back. So I'm asking you to progress the order for me. Get my fuel and my cable car. Now, can you manage that, killer? You wouldn't be setting us up now, would you? Now, oh, get, God damn it, get your hands off me! Marcus! They jumped me and took the truck! They were, ah, 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 Every contract has a performance guarantee, Phoenix. Your associate is now mine. Don't you lay a finger on him. Don't you fucking dare. You got an hour. Don't waste it. Let's go, Marcus. Dizzy's gonna be okay, Marcus. Let's do this and get out of here. Yeah, let's. Nice of them to leave all these supplies lying around. <laughs>